I spent 10 years in education and of those 10 years, three were spent doing a PhD in cancer research. And let me be completely honest, when you're a PhD student, 50% of your job is organizing research papers. If you can manage the research paper load that you find yourself in, then you are a PhD genius. And back in the day when I did my PhD, I didn't even have AI to help me. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through how to manage research papers, how to organize, how to read and understand research research papers really quickly, just like a PhD genius using AI tools. Now, a PhD genius in paper management is someone who never loses track of key papers or ideas, can quickly synthesize information across dozens of sources, identifies patterns and gaps effortlessly, spends less time on admin tasks and more time on critical thinking, and lastly avoids information overload and burnout. And I'm going to show you how to do that using Anara AI. Anara AI is my secret weapon. It allows you to quickly understand papers, books, audio, organize your findings and also write really well cited documents because you're able to organize your documents and have clear explanations in seconds. And also you can ask questions to quickly find the information that you need from your documents. And they've just recently released Table View. Now Table View is essentially a command center. So it's where you're able to have everything in like a spreadsheet-like interface, all the content that you've saved, everything that you have, and you want to organize it in a more kind of nice way to, and, and more user-friendly to be able to find your information, filter, discover everything through your library. And I think that's a really big problem with a lot of the AI tools that I come across these days. You're able to find and kind of get the information very easily, but then it's all in this jumbled up mess. So with Anara, you're able to be that much more organized, just like if you were doing a PhD and you had to have your own system. There are three key strategies that help you manage your research papers like a PhD genius. Genius strategy number one. This is where you are creating your papers into some sort of thematic group or projects or even topics to accompany a certain area or certain research topic or research question, allowing you to then retrieve your information a lot quicker quicker in the future. So this is your personal Anara dashboard. And when you first log in, you're able to upload a file, folder, even citations from Zotero. You're also able to import a URL or website. You can create a note or recording, and you can also learn where there's more information on the back end in their blog. So I'm going to upload a couple of research papers, 24 to be precise, so quite a bit. And you'll see what I can do with them here today. So I've uploaded everything and I'm going to change to this kind of full table view rather than the split view that you saw earlier. And you can see here that I have a full table. So I have the title, I have the authors, I have uh, when the paper was added, when I viewed it, uh, also the file type and a summary of the file as well. So this is really useful for getting a quick snapshot of the information that I have um, available to me. Now I'm going to create a folder. Now I really want to create a folder with five research papers as those are the ones that I want to use in my introduction. And I'm gonna add them into a folder called climate change intro. And that means that all the information that I want for my introduction is going to be in this one specific folder. Um, and from this folder, I can ask questions and I can start to ask and kind of filter out uh, information based off the information from only this particular folder. So it really helps with organization and segregation of uh, information. Now I've opened up one specific paper and here I can start to ask questions and you can see that there's suggested questions which are actually quite good <laughs> and quite tailored to what you might want to know. Um, but I can also open up a note and start writing things down about the paper or I can find out information about this paper. So if you go to the further details, you can see everything broken down in terms of like the kind of information to do with the paper itself, um, just quick summaries. But then I can go to this one, the related field. And I think this one's really interesting. So um, what you have here is you have a section for cited by, you also have a section for cited here, so papers that this paper has cited. Um, you also have a section for related in the library and related uh, from the internet. So it pulls out other research papers that are related to this one and you can add it to your library as well at the same time. And I think this is a really powerful and a bit of a hidden underrated uh, aspect of ANARA that is really useful for linking and creating connections. You can also add annotations so here I'm adding an annotation in this particular paragraph in this paper to say that this is a paper that's useful. G 
genius strategy number two. This one is where you are being able to recall key arguments, find very specific data points across your entire paper collection without having to read everything all over again. So you're able to synthesize information really quickly and on demand. Now, Anara will help you save absolutely weeks of time using their retrieval of knowledge tools. So here I'm asking a question where I want to know a bit more about this research paper and um, if there are any gaps in literature that it can help me identify. And as you can see here, it's listing out quite quickly all the information from this paper only. So it's not hallucinating or giving me information from any random sources. It's also providing me with the precise location from where this information has been taken from within the paper that I have provided it. So I think that's really important uh, for kind of backing up and consolidating uh, knowledge. Uh, so I have all the information in front of me and I'm able to then take that and either write it into a note or add it to my um, to my data or something like that. Now I can also ask questions to a group and I think this is one of the most powerful tools that Anara has available. So I'm opening up this group which is the intro group and I'm asking a question that is just going to search through the research papers in this group. I've asked what are some gaps in literature that this these sets of papers addresses and this is so powerful for writing a research question or like a research proposal or something. Can, it, can you imagine how much time this has saved you just from being able to uh, acquire this information in seconds and then I can add this to a note directly and I can then take this and you know have it and save it as, as reading later on. I've also asked a question um, saying, what is something that I should know that's interesting for me as a new researcher? So imagining that we just started our PhD or we just started, you know, learning and, and understanding this, this topic a little bit more. Can you give me any highlights of information that I should know? And as you can see, again, <laughs> I've got a really good summary of uh, five or six points, I think, about how I can uh, learn and understand more about this particular area. So this has just completely improved the way that I start my research and reading. And then genius strategy number three, and this one is where you are able to organize your system in a very dynamic way. It is not static and it adapts as your understanding evolves and as new papers and new information emerges and joins your library. Now, organization is everything. And I think this is something that Anara started to do really well with the introduction of the table view. So this is the full table. You have the title, the authors, uh, when you last viewed it, the file type, etc., and any chats that you've had about this file as well. So I think that's really powerful. But you can personalize it. So you can take away some of those columns that you might not be interested in. Like, I don't really care when it was last viewed so maybe let's take that out I don't really care like what the chat was that I had I just want to see the name the author and the summary so for example I've kept those three and I think this is really powerful because it allows you to grow and adapt with your research and it allows you to kind of make changes based on the requirements that you want in, at that particular time and then you can also search through your whole library so in this uh, kind of front desktop uh, view, you're able to ask a question about your whole library. So in this particular case, I've asked, uh, you know, are there any papers that are discussed this particular topic? And, you know, I'm, I've got loads of papers, so it's going to be really hard for me to search through all of them. There you go. And I was giving me the exact uh, paper uh, and papers that discuss this topic. And then at the end, it says, actually, even though you have a uh, few of them that discuss it. This one is the most important one. It's presented to me in a table. And I think that's really, really powerful. So being able to see all your information, all your data uh, in one clean place is really helpful because just finding literature is, is not necessarily the hardest part. It's actually how you organize, retrieve and use it later on is what is the more difficult and tedious part. So yeah, I think this is really cool. And um, this adds a huge advantage to using Anara for your reading and research. So I hope that you found this video useful because the number one question that I get a lot of the time is how can I organize my research papers? How can I get all this information and put it in a way that allows me to retrieve it easily later, allows me to find what I need when I need it. And I'm not trying to go through all these random papers and all these hundreds and thousands of papers that I've accumulated. And this is a really great kind of step forward and a really great way of uh, using AI and using these tools to accompany and help you and assist you to do that uh, much, much easier. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I'll leave the link to try Anara down below uh, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.